In the shadows of ordinary existence lurks a figure in his presence, elicits whispers of trepidation and unease. Cerrone, a man shrouded in mystery, walks in the woods, leaving in his wake a trail of subtle infractions, unsettling accusations. Wells' actions may seem innocuous at first glance. A deeper scrutiny unveils a pattern of behavior that hints at a more ominous narrative. This video will cover all of those claims in detail. One cannot help but notice the audacity with which Cerrone traverses the mundane landscapes of everyday life. Witness accounts attest to his flagrant disregard for pedestrian norms as he brazenly jaywalks across the vast expanses of Walmart parking lots, a veritable playground for side weapons. His cavalier attitude towards pedestrian safety serves as a testament to his for pushing the boundaries of societal norms. Moreover, Cerrone's disregard for public decorum extends beyond mere industrial transgressions. Eyewitness reports of P.E. is a quieting picture of him spitting on the ground with a nonchalant disregard for public hygiene. Such disdain for basic civility Addictive of his character, whose actions are steeped in sinister disregard for societal conventions. Cerrone has been known to discard his waste onto the ground. He shuts soda cans and newspapers onto the ground. Just crazy stuff. He sometimes starts fires and doesn't clean up the ashes. Just discarded his garbage anywhere, and I, I've already mentioned the fires, but sometimes he'll just light campfires in the woods and he won't, he won't clean up any of the ashes, any of the hot ashes, any of the stones, nothing like that. He just doesn't care. Cerrone listens to the trashiest music, and he doesn't even listen to it through all his highly advanced radio equipment, no. He listens to it on old-fashioned violence. And he's... He listens to his trashy rock music and metal. It's, and it's all loud. It's disturbing. He has radio technologies that'll put thoughts in your brain. He can mess you into saying and doing things that you don't mean. He's absolutely crazy. I just don't know what's going on. But all of this is real. He... He has confirmed it himself. I'm, I'm not lying here. Please, just... Cerrone has purchased parts off of eBay from the Ukraine war up there. Destroyed drones and has been rebuilding military drones for his own purposes. He's absolutely nuts, I swear. And the thing is, is that they work too. I've, I've seen them. He uses thermal imaging and all kinds of crazy technology I can't even wrap my head around to spy on people and track them and mess with them with their heads. It's just horrible stuff. I don't... He's a mad scientist. I don't even know how he meets the people around the world that he associates with, but he has so many resources at his disposal and I can't do anything without the help of Pete's viewers, of course. I, I need your help if you're watching this. We, we can stop this mess together. Yet beneath the veneer of his mundane transgressions lies a dark truth. Whispers abound of clandestine fur farm operated by Serona. Captive souls such as my friends and family find themselves ensnared in a web of captivity. In the midst of the sliving expanse where the whispering leaves bear witness to secrets untold, Cerrone in his particular rites indulges in a ritual only known to him. With an air of solemnity, he embarks upon his arcane sojourns, venturing deep in the heart of the woods, where the boundaries of reality blur and the veils of sanity are drawn thin. It is amidst these shadows grows that Cerrone with an, with an eerie cadence tones the cryptic incarnation. Evil Evil
doesn't stop. His words reverberating through the ancient bows like an ominous potent of doom. But the esoteric meaning lies hidden within this enigmatic phase, none can say. So the mysteries of Throny's mind remain inscrutable to all but himself. Yet, as he prowls this verdant labyrinth, he is hunted masked by the penumbral gloom. Throny's purpose becomes clear to clench the foxes with nades and nods. And that's what he calls them with methodical precision. He brandishes his arsenal, each explosive device a harbinger of destruction, each nod of his head a decree of judgment upon the unwitting denizens of the woods. It's just Cerrone and his relentless pursuit of purgation has moved with almost ethereal grace in a global arms race. His movements synchronized with the rhythm of his targets, myself included, but not just me. I try to get with a man, a pure man I met in a Discord server. His name is Felix. He's a Russian boy, and I, I tried to warn him. Yeah. I really did. I, I tried to warn you, Felix, if you're watching this at all. His goons all around the world armed with teeth. He might already be in China. Well, to tell Felix, I, I told you to be... You told me to get help, and I did, and I made a bad choice. He's after me, too. I saw Sorry on my way to a nearby shrink or doctor or somebody. And he asked if he could use my computer to update his Facebook. And I, I think he saw my messages to you. Because I conveniently found the help I needed to work. So I thought. I found a booth. It said, psychiatric help, five cents, the doctor's in. So I went up to it and a goon skims handed me a pill bottle filled with a variety of pills ranging from Benadryl to Ritalin and I think there's some oxys in there too. The label reading, take all of these at the same time immediately or something in that effect. All I know is one cannot help but wonder at the ineffable forces that drive this enigmatic figure, propelling him ever deeper into the physical death of his own madness. Felix, listen to me, because I know you won't respond to my messages. We have to get rid of this menace and show you enough proof. He's an absolute monster. He's after you. He's after you and he's after all these people that I've missed. He's a genocidal maniac. He's a freak. He's a weirdo. He's horrible. I, I think I once saw him with a magnifying glass over an anthill just burning those, just burning innocent lives just away into ash, into dust, into smoke. It's horrible. What sets Cerrone apart, however, is not merely his propensity for infractions, but rather his proclivity for leveling accusations against others. In an air of self-righteousness, he accuses unsuspecting individuals of wrongdoing, often citing what he deems to be hard evidence in support of his claims. It is a tactic that instills fear and suspicion within the community, even those targeted by his accusations questioning their own innocence. For instance, he accused the YouTuber Val Jr. of a lot of heinous things, which wasn't very nice, I don't think. He also betrayed Aiden the Gamer, another YouTuber that I'm subscribed to. I think he sometimes has his goons patrolling Tacoma, which is probably why Val Jr. doesn't upload a lot of content. It's not as sad. Which I think came under attack by Cerrone because the roof has so many holes, but I'm just not. It's pulling dead dust he stays up there anyway. Otherwise we wouldn't get like 15 banger megalovania coffins from him every month as well as the sweet succulent gaming videos with Gmod and Minecraft power lines. In the face of these revelations, it is incumbent upon us to approach the enigma of Cerrone with caution and vigilance. While his actions may appear trivial on the surface, they serve as harbingers of the deeper and malevolence that just lurks beneath his facade of normalcy. As we navigate the living team, corridors of everyday life, let us remain ever mindful of the ominous presence that is Cerrone, a figure whose true intentions remain shrouded in secrets. Thank you all for watching, and I ask that you please like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment.
below this video. And have a nice day.